every person, not just in this county, but across the whole country. Those of us who have been given a privilege to serve, to give it our all, to give it our all for the sake of our country. Because an opportunity, an opportunity arises once in a lifetime. And when you are given that opportunity, you do what you have to do. Our young engineers, we are proud of you. We are proud of you. I'm very happy. And I have told the Vice Chancellor, I'll create time when I'm just around without all this madoido, because I'm a local guy here. Nikatie pale nyumbani mgu, nipitia hapa chaka, tu nikuje. So that we look around what is happening, and I get more interested because I'm fascinated by the capacity that has been de developed in this great institute. Kwa hayo mengi sana, ningetakia nyingi Christmas jema. We ask our officers in the national government, the RIC is here, the county commission and our police commanders, please make all the arrangements and make sure these guys have a very peaceful Christmas. Wale watu wachache wakuwaribu waribu, morokote hawa yote, muwafungie mpaka tutoke Christmas. So that they can allow these people to enjoy in peace. You know, we only have a, we only have one person that is troublesome. Just one. And that one person can create hell for everybody. So I want to urge our officers of security, there's no Christmas for you, unfortunately, but that is your job, you look for it. As we enjoy, and the rest of Kenyans enjoy, na nyinyi mutuange kazi, to make sure that we enjoy. That is your job description, especially during this uh, Christmas uh, uh, festive season. Nataka kulisa watu ya nyeri, tufrahie. Lakini tupunguse pombe kidogo wakati ya uh, Christmas. Tusikunywe sana kidogo tu. Hata kama lazima ukunywe mbili tatu wende nyumbani. Hii maneno ya kutoka jioni mpaka kesho yake hiyo is not healthy. So let's 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 have a nice time. Let's uh, let's be peaceful. Let's uh, let everybody allow others to enjoy Christmas. Even the petty thieves wale pickpockets na nini hata waende wapumzike. You know everything must have a break. Si hata wapumzike. Yeah, they can take a holiday also from what they do. Unajua ubaya hata hii pickpockets na wengine wanakaza mimi na president wanasema hata tuliwabia kazi ni kazi. But we did not mean that hiyo kazi hiyo. We meant this one. This one of developing technology, this one of borrowing money from the Hustler Fund and making sure that you reinvest it. And by the way, we are doing well. As of this morning, Kenyans have borrowed 9.4 billion and they are paid back 2.6 billion. So, and it is not much, but when you borrow repeatedly, it's a lot of money. Borrow the thousand, invest, pay back, borrow another one, invest, pay back. That is why we told those uh, Azimio characters, they were telling people to borrow and not to pay. That is retrogressive thinking. You know, a whole senator elected by the people, and himself he is borrowing at 3% for his mortgage. And he is paying from his salary. How can you tell people who vote for you not to borrow? Because they would like these people to remain poor so that they remain their slaves to be misused when elections come. I want to ask our people to ignore the retrogressive call by the Azimio characters not to pay money they have borrowed from the Hasla Fund. Please borrow and pay and borrow again and again. And the way that system is working, the more you borrow and pay, you build your credit uh, rating. So you start with 500, you pay, they go to 800, you pay up to 50,000. And if you don't pay, that is it. You never borrow again. And I don't think that 2,000 you are being told by as a mere fellows not to pay will change your life. It will change your life by borrowing all the time. And we want our people to borrow up to 50,000. So please, let us utilize the Hustler Fund. It's a creative intervention in our business because the problem has been lack of affordable credit to people who have no collateral, those who have no title deeds, those who have no logbooks. That has been the problem. We now have a money you can borrow up to 50,000 without a logbook, without a title deed, 
And that is what has been lacking for this country. This country. So as I'm in Nyeri here, my home county, I would like to ask the people of this great county to make full use of the hustle of fund. Borrow money and do business. And keep on borrowing and paying. Keep on borrowing and paying. And keep on building your stock. Keep on expanding your business. So that in another two, three years, you are ten times where you are before that one. Finally, I bring you greetings.